guys, we are going to start the biogeochemical cycle, the nitrogen cycle. All right, so let's start with the do now. If you would like to pause the video at this time, please pause it. All right, so what you had to do was um, label each box um, depending on the process. So this is a simplified version of the biotic part of the carbon cycle. Which two processes would go in the blanks? So in the blue box, we see that oxygen is going in and carbon dioxide is going out. So we know that that process is cellular respiration. And for the green box, we see carbon dioxide is going in and oxygen is going out. So we know that that is photosynthesis. And this, these are the two biotic parts of the carbon cycle. Well, two of the biotic parts of the carbon cycle. Please remember those formulas because they will come important. So quote of the day, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, Lao Tzu. Do unto others as you'll have done unto you. Come prepared and ready to learn. Leave negativity at the threshold. High tech, high engagement, y'all. All right, so we're going to be talking about nitrogen. And nitrogen is basically an element just like carbon. Um, so nitrogen is very important. Nitrogen is one of the main components in two very important macromolecules within our bodies, and that is protein and DNA. Our entire body is made up of proteins. Our saliva is a protein that breaks down um, amylase before it um, goes down our throat. Our muscles have proteins in them. Our blood has proteins in them. Proteins are very important, and they do a bunch of different jobs. And of course, DNA. Without nitrogen, you can't create DNA. And DNA is basically our genetic code, and each gene tells our body what it needs to do. So nitrogen is a very important component, in fact, the main component of protein and DNA. So the nitrogen cycle is the cycling of nitrogen through the lithosphere, atmosphere, and hydrosphere. So just like with the carbon cycle and with the water cycle, nitrogen has to go through all of the spheres in order for it to be available for living organisms and other um, parts of the world. So we will be talking about the nitrogen cycle today. All right, so the cool thing about nitrogen is that nitrogen makes up 78% of our atmosphere. That is 78% of our atmosphere. That is a lot of our atmosphere made out of nitrogen. And that nitrogen in the atmosphere is called atmospheric nitrogen. And atmospheric nitrogen is N2. That means there's two nitrogen atoms that are fused together or bonded together, I mean. Now, if there's so much nitrogen, why is it a limiting nutrient? Why is it hard to find in the soils or in the water if it's 78% of our atmosphere? Well, that's because nitrogen as N2 cannot be used by organisms. It has to be broken because N2 cannot be used. The, the thing is though, unfortunately, atmospheric nitrogen has this strong, strong bond that nothing can break. So plants can't break it. Animals like us can't break it. So what happens is you have to have special organisms that can break that bond in atmospheric nitrogen. And that special organism is bacteria. Bacteria is able to break the bonds between N2. So if we have, sorry, I like do a little writing. If we have N2, that equals to N bonded to N. So it's like a triple bond. And bacteria are able to break that bond. They're just able to break it. And now we have our nitrogen. So similar to carbon dioxide, nitrogen has to be fixed here on Earth because that atmospheric nitrogen we can't use, the bonds are too strong, so it has to be fixed here on Earth just like carbon. 
But unlike carbon, plants can't do that. You need bacteria to do that. So we call the process of nitrogen fixation um, is when that atmospheric nitrogen turns into ammonia or ammonium. So the only organisms that can turn that atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia or ammonium are bacteria. So we call these bacteria nitro, um, nitrogen fixing bacteria, and they are found in the soils or on the roots of legumes. So nitrogen fixation is when atmospheric nitrogen, so we got our N2, is converted into either ammonia or ammonium. And I do the ammonium one because ammonium is easier for plants to use or use in the soil. So when we go from atmospheric nitrogen to ammonium, we are doing nitrogen fixation. And the organisms that do that are called nitrogen fixing bacteria, and they are found in the soils or on the roots of legumes. Another way that nitrogen can be fixed is through lightning. So lightning is able to break the bonds between N2 in order to let that nitrogen go free. So lightning is another way that nitrogen fixation can happen. So we know that nitrogen can be fixed by bacteria on the root of legumes. Well, peanuts are a type of legume. So peanut farmers don't have to fertilize because they have all the nitrogen in the soil that they need. So peanuts are a type of legume and the bacteria are found in those little root nodules, these right here, not the peanut itself, and they're just sitting there chilling. And in fact, the bacteria are giving nitrogen to the plant, which the plant needs to build its body, and the plant is giving sugar to the bacteria. So it's a benefit-benefit um, relationship. So of course, you're not gonna type your answer in the chat, but when I put the question up, take about, pause the video so that you can answer it yourself. What important biological macromolecules are nitrogen a part of? Pause. Proteins and DNA. So they help make your protein and DNA. How much of the atmosphere is made of nitrogen? Pause. 78%. That's a big percentage. What is nitrogen in the atmosphere called? Pause. Atmospheric nitrogen, also N2 is the chemical formula. What are the two ways nitrogen can be fixed? Pause. Through lightning, which can break the bonds between the atmospheric nitrogens, or nitrogen fixing bacteria that is found in the soil or on the roots of legumes. What does nitrogen fixation do? Pause. Nitrogen fixation transform atmospheric nitrogen into ammonium. So again, I'm gonna write that little formula here just in case you see it again. Beautiful. Hello, so just like in the carbon cycle, decomposers return nitrogen to the soil and they're very important. So all decomposers will break down the nitrogen in bodies and they will return it to the soil, but not as just nitrogen, they return it to the soil as ammonia or ammonium. And this process is called ammonification. So ammonification is when the um, nitrogen in the bodies of dead organisms is decomposed and transformed into ammonia and ammonium. What is it called when humans put waste back onto the soil? We call that fertilizing. Um, my granny used to put um, cow manure back on, well, we didn't have cows, but she used to put that on the grass in order for it to grow better. 
So now we're still in the earth, and of course nitrogen is in the earth either as ammonia or ammonium, or it's in the earth um, being fixed by the bacteria. So now that it's there, now we have to convert it into a form that plants can easily take up. Instead of like having to mix ammonium with water so they can use it, we want to put it in a way that plants can easily take it up. And the way that plants can easily take up nitrogen is through nitrates and nitrites. Nitrates and nitrites. Plants love nitrates and nitrites. So we have to find a way to convert that ammonia or ammonium from the de that the decomposers have created, that the nitrogen fixing bacteria have created, into nitrates and nitrites. And that process is called nitrification. And nitrification happens by another type of bacteria. So they're not the same as nitrogen fixing bacteria. They're a whole different type. So now these bacteria um, need to do nitrification to convert that ammonia and ammonium into nitrates and nitrites. And these bacteria are called nitrifying bacteria. So nitrifying bacteria are also found in the soil. So we are going from NH4 plus or NH3 to NO3 negative, which is nitrates, and that's my and signal, NO2 negative. This is what plants really, really love is that nitrate and nitrite. All right, so again, type your answer in the chat, but please pause the video so you can try to answer it yourself before you see the answer. So which organisms break down organic matter and return nitrogen to the earth? Pause. Decomposers, the fungi and bacteria. What does nitrification do? Pause. converts ammonia or ammonium to nitrates and nitrites, or nitrites and nitrates, beautiful. Number three, which organisms do nitrification? Pause. Bacteria, so this is a whole different type of bacteria from the bacteria we talked about a few slides ago. Number four, where are they found? in the soil. So these type of bacteria, nitrifying bacteria, are found in the soil. So once we are our not once we have nitrates and nitrites in the soil, plants can easily take up these nitrates and nitrites and be happy. Now they can use this nitrogen to build their proteins and their DNA. And just like with carbon, they have now assimilated that nitrogen into their bodies. That nitrogen is now a part of their bodies. So they have been assimilated. If only bacteria can use nitrogen from the atmosphere, how do plants and animals get their nitrogen? Well, plants get their nitrogen when nitrogen fixing bacteria are able to break the bonds between the atmospheric nitrogen and put it back into the soil as ammonia or ammonium. Decomposers can do this too when they break down dead organisms. They can bring they can make the nitrogen in the dead bodies into ammonia or ammonium. Then that ammonia or ammonium is um, converted into nitrates and nitrites by nitrifying bacteria that are also found in the soil. And then once they are, once nitrates and nitrites are in the soil, plants can easily take them up to start building their proteins and start building their DNA. So they can assimilate that nitrogen. So once that nitrogen is in their bodies, now a, a organism can eat them. So a rabbit, for example, can eat them. As you see right here, this rabbit, or a human could eat them or a bird could eat them. Um, once that organism eats the nitrogen from the plant, an organism can either eat the plant directly or eat the organism that ate the plant to get nitrogen. So all of us get nitrogen 
from eating. But of course, we have to complete the cycle. We can't just, you know, stay in the soil and be assimilated and then come back and all that type of stuff. Of course, completing the cycle means we go back into the atmosphere. So there are bacteria and a whole different type of bacteria. So we've learned about three types of bacteria that will convert nitrates in back into the atmosphere. So they take those nitrates and nitrites and convert them back into atmospheric um, nitrogen. And this process is called denitrification. And denitrification returns nitrogen back into the atmosphere. And these organisms are called denitrifying bacteria. And they return um, nitrogen back into the atmosphere. Specifically, they use nitrates back so let's do this and you guys know after each question pause the video so you can do it yourself in the chat type your answers describe assimilation pause assimilation is the process of nitrogen being used to create proteins and dna in the body of producers nitrogen becomes a part of the producer it becomes a part of their body what is the process of nitrites and nitrates being converted back to atmospheric nitrogen called? Pause. Denitrification. It is called denitrification. Makes sense, right? Because we are going back into the atmosphere. Which organisms do this? Pause. Bacteria, but these are a different type of bacteria. If you remember, these are denitrifying bacteria. Where are they found? Pause. In the soil, like everything else, they are also found in the soil. So go and please watch these videos. Um, they'll give you some more information on the nitrogen cycle so you don't just have my word. You also have different options to look at as well. All right, so this is the end of the lesson. Please complete the nitrogen cycle diagram and graphic organizer and upload by the end of the class. This is going into the grade book. So please, 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 upload it and do it. This is one of the assignments that is going in the grade book. But have a great day um, and have a great asynchronous day. I will see you guys on, um, on Friday. Bye.